Hi everyone, my name is Anita Wallace and I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network. And I'm delighted to welcome today Dr. Catherine O'Leary, GP from Oxford, who is joining us for the fourth in our series of our expert question and answer sessions. So welcome Catherine and thank you so much for, for agreeing to join us. So the next question, why is my GP reluctant to follow the LSN and BLS cellulitis guidance, even when I had to be admitted to hospital three times and the hospital doctors and my lymphedema clinic have asked him to? Um, it's tricky. I can't, I can't necessarily answer on behalf of your GP, um, but I would say from my experience is that um, Often we're, we're bound by local guidelines, local antibiotic guidelines. Um, I'm also aware that I think some of the, there are going to be some subtle changes to the consensus guidelines, which uh, make them slight, uh, sort of much more maybe in line with the current nice cellulitis guidelines. So I think um, hopefully that will mean that your GP will, will kind of, maybe be happy to run along the, the uh, guidelines uh, that are set out. But also in the nice cellulitis guidelines, the LSN is mentioned in those guidelines. So they do kind of cross reference each other, each other to yeah. some degree. I think um, that is one of the big, big things that hopefully uh, we can raise awareness with GPs about the importance of, of good uh, early treatment of cellulitis about how it presents differently to patients who don't have lymphedema often with sort of limited clinical signs and some of more of the systemic kind of symptoms um, and also hopefully you know we're going to kind of keep sort of aiming to raise awareness amongst GPs about considering cellulitis prophylaxis in line with the nice cellulitis guidelines and the and the consensus statement so hopefully that you know there's room for optimism there that we'll all be sort of following those guidelines but yeah there are often local area guidelines that we need to follow yeah. also and yeah you know a little a little inside to gps is that we get so many sets of guidelines from so many people um that you know, often there might be three or four guidelines relating to one thing that we need to do. So we try it, we try and hopefully we're all trying to do our best, but often there's various pulls in diff different directions when we're making these decisions. Yeah, but the consensus document um, is due for review. So it could be some changes will be will be made at that time. Um, so yeah, so watch this space. Thanks, yes. Mm -hmm. 